What's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. Oh, for all the lovers of Lays out there, we got the new, the Puma 2600 SY Gen 2. And I'm gonna show you some of the technology that comes with this amazing machine. All right, but before I get started, I just wanna tell you, if you love what we're throwing down, if you love the fact that we're taking CNC machining education and entertainment to the highest levels, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell, and share these videos so we can bring awareness to our great trade. All right, check this out, I'll show you a few things. Now the first thing that I'll say is you got two beast dual spindles, all right? Now these spindles, are actually direct drive motors. So the motor is actually locked directly to the spindle, therefore decreasing vibration. Also in this machine, we got rigid boxways, again, dampening the vibration and allowing us to just get after it with our cuts. One of the cool things to note on this machine is that we always change out our chucks, right? Because we wanna be efficient. So a few years ago, we got some shunk chucks, all right? So you have the Rota, the THW. This is a quick change system. So in seconds, boom, you can just change out the jaws quickly. And we're gonna replace the chuck in the machine with this chuck that we already had. So on my second chuck, we're gonna bring in this six jaw chuck. This is the Rota NCR chuck. It is amazing it has six jaws and it allows us to cut those aerospace parts with the thin walls because we can encompass the entire part right when you hold those thin walled parts it's all about surface area contact so having six jaws allows us to grab it all the way around so there's no spaces so the material can't actually move on you you just grab it boom all right so this is our main this is our sub and then check this out now, when it comes to the control, this is the Fanuc I-Series control. And we're gonna do an incredible amount of tutorials teaching you all of it, from putting programs in, to editing those programs, doing full setups, dry runs, all of it. We're gonna teach you every facet of this control for free. Now, when you look at parts, you can do all types of parts, okay? On this machine, we're gonna be running a lot of stainless, a lot of titanium, a lot of Inconel, Monel, crazy parts right when you look at our titans of cnc academy you see the aerospace connections there are two fittings right two fittings that we see in the aerospace industry everybody makes them and we're going to actually do tutorials on a whole series of two fittings that we call the aerospace connections so make sure you guys keep an eye out on our new aerospace academy because the two fittings series will be done on this machine and it's coming to that website now what's really cool with this is like when you actually look at this turret there's 12 stations it's standard right but machinists they're always trying to figure out how to be more efficient how to actually work the machine in different ways to do more and that's what Doosan has actually done with this machine so you have the 12 stations but between each station you can put additional tools so between station one and two you can put a tool between three and four, you can put a tool. So this 12 station turret becomes a 24 station turret and you simply can get more done in a single operation. So you have the stick tools, you have the live tools, you got the main chuck, you got the sub chuck to make highly complex parts. Now added to that, the tool setter is automatic so you can program it right so we're thinking lights out we're thinking okay let's actually face it let's rough it let's get in there boom 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 and before we bring in certain tools we can go and program it and check those tools to make sure that everything is perfect so it just adds that level of confidence machine double check machine double check let this run by itself so you can be somewhere else in the shop or you can be home sleeping all right now when i say home sleeping that comes to the next thing i'm going to talk about when that part actually comes out when it gets machined when it gets transferred when you got the live tooling and you part it off it can actually drop into this parts catcher bring the camera around and let me show you this this is like trick so that's the parts catcher right there drops it in and it actually comes down and puts the part inside here when the part lands in here it hits a conveyor belt 
and the conveyor belt brings it all the way down and drops it down here. But a lot of times we don't want to damage our parts by dropping them and dinging them, right? So we have this guy right here that you just simply drop down, the part comes and it simply stops. Kind of like the rotor rack from Royal. You guys see that thing? That thing is genius. You can put it on any lathe. Here at Doosan, they actually put it into the machine, which is brilliant, all right? Now, since we're talking conveyor belt and running a lot of parts, we need to actually look at how we're gonna feed that bar in. And it's all about bar feeding, okay? So we're gonna actually put a bar feeder on this machine. Now check this out. Now this is our bar feeder. This is from Edge Technology. It is the Rebel 102. It's a Servo SE. And this is a bar feeder we've had for years. It is an amazing bar feeder. And as soon as we were getting lays and we knew we were teaching automation, I thought, hey, let's take the Edge bar feeder and connect it for a total solution, all right? So we're gonna stack up the bars, boom, bars are gonna go in. We're gonna make parts complete. They're gonna drop down lights out machining, we're gonna go home, we're gonna sleep, we're gonna eat dinner, go in the pool, hang out, and we're gonna be making money in this shop and we're gonna teach you guys exactly how to do it. Uh, CNC machining, taking education to the highest level. I love you guys, love this trade. We are out.